Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to discuss another railway coding question, and that question was came on 21st January. Okay, so now let's see the question. So this is our question. Okay, given a string str, write a program to remove the duplicate characters from str by following the below points. Okay, means you have to remove all the duplicate characters, but you have to follow some conditions. So what are the conditions? While eliminating the duplicate character, retain the first character of the duplicate characters and space must be excluded while eliminating the duplicate characters means you cannot remove any space, right? So now let's see some example, then you will get it better. So th this is our first example. Okay, hello there, right? So now you will get this output. So how you will get this output? Let's see. So if you just calculate the number of the occurrence of each character, then you will get for capital A, you will get 1, right? For small e, you will get 3, right? For small l, you will get 2, okay? For small o, you will get 1, okay? For capital A, you will get 1, right? For small h, you will get 1, right? And for r, you will get 1, right? So here the thing is here obviously small h and capital H are different. Okay. So now you will get this output. So basically you have to uh, remove the duplicate characters. Right. Right. Means here E and L um, are duplicate characters. Right. So but the thing is you have to keep the first character of your duplicate characters. Right. So it means that where you will get your first um, e means here you will get your first e right so you have to give this e in your output string also okay and other all the e you have to remove like here here you get again e you have to remove this e and again here you will get another e you have to remove the e also okay so same thing is happening for l also like right? here L has total two times, right? Your first L and other all the L's you have to remove, right? So here you will get your first L, okay? It means that you have to keep this L and you have to remove this L, okay? You have to remove this L. I think it's clear. So now let's see the other example, then you will get it better. So this is our second example, okay? So here all the characters are in lower case, okay? So if you just calculate the number of the occurrence of each character then you will get that except a and l other all the characters have uh, only one time okay so i think it's okay but the thing is uh, a has total one two times okay and l has total two times right so have to remove l and a but not all a and l you can remove you have to keep your first a and you have to keep your first l right so this is your first a and this is your first l you have to keep and other all the l other all the a you have to remove like here you will again get your second a but you have to remove this a right so here if you just add this l then you will add this l right so after that you will get another l so you cannot add this l Right, that's why here yeah, you have only add one L. Okay, because other all the L's you have to remove in your output string. Right, I think it's clear. It means that you have to keep your first character of your duplicate characters. And the second thing is that you have to keep all the spaces in your output string. Means number of the spaces in your input string and number of the spaces in your output string must be same. Okay. You cannot remove any space. I think it's clear. So now let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay. So I can solve. So basically I will solve this problem in Java. But I think you understood the logic part. Right. So then you can solve this problem in any language. Okay. So now let's see how you can solve. Now I come to my Eclipse ID. So if you can remember at first you have to take a string as a user input. Right. So that's why I just take a string as a user input. And then I just pass the string to this solve method. Why so? Because in this solve method, I will do all the necessary operation on this input string. And then I will get my output string. Okay, means our desired result. Right. So, 
if you can remember you have to find out the duplicate characters right so to find out the duplicate character it means that the number of the occurrences of the particular character is more than one right so to calculate this you can use hash map because in the hash map in the keypad you can store the characters right in the value bar you can store the number of the occurrences of each character right that's why you can use hash map right so now so let's take the hash map so the thing is you can use other techniques also but uh, if you use hash map then you can solve these types of problem easily right hash map so in the key part i will store the characters right the characters and in the value part i will store the number of the occurrences of each character right so integer and then hash map reference new hash map okay so now i will just use for each loop to traverse this string okay if you use for loop uh, uh, means you can use also for loop okay so cash c a store to care array okay so here i just convert the string into a character type array why so because using for each loop you can traverse only the array so that's why i use here character type array okay but if you use for loop then no need to do this things right then you can easily traverse the string right so now um each and your put so put method is used to add values and keys in my hash map we can use put method okay so you at first you have to specify the key so what is your key our key must be the character right so c and then you have to key you have to uh, put the value so to put the value here i will use a, a method uh, get or default method okay so hm dot get or default key and then you have to specify the value here i will take default value zero okay and then plus one right so after that so how uh, this method will work let's see basically a hm dot get or default method will give me the value of that particular key and what and what is the key here your key is c okay this method will give me the value of that particular key okay if they don't have any value then this method then this method will give me this default value okay so here i specify the default value is zero right then whatever this method will give me okay and i will just add plus one with that particular value okay i think it's clear so now so now i will again traverse this string okay to get array okay so now if hm dot get so get method is used to get the value of any particular key okay so here the key is c okay so this method will give me an integer type value and that integer value is the occurrence of that particular key and here key is c means this method will give me the occurrence of c okay if greater than one okay uh, let me the at first take the equals to equals to one it means that um the number of the occurrence of this of that particular character is only one then we can easily add that character with our resultant string okay c right else in the else part in the else part else part i will take another condition if uh, if hm dot case c is greater than one then i will then add that um, value right we see because um, for the first time we can add all the characters right but the thing is uh, then i will just uh, do one thing this is a very important thing then i will just hm dot put method i will use and for that particular character i will specify the number of the occurrences with this zero why so if i specify zero then this if condition will not execute and then if condition is also not execute right means for the first time we will just okay the thing is if hm dot get c is greater than one if this if condition will execute it means that the number of the occurrence of the particular character is more than one right but if you can remember in our uh, case they told that, that you can add only for first time you can add your duplicate characters right but for the uh, for the 
for the remaining tiles you have to remove all the duplicate characters right so when you will get your first duplicate character for the first time i will add that character with my resultant string right and after that for that character i will specify the value as zero so if i specify this value as a zero then this if condition will not execute and then this if condition will not execute it means that for the first time we can only add our duplicate character okay we can remember in our question they told that, that you cannot remove any space right so it may possible now say this if condition is executed for a space right it may possible right so that's why but you means it's not possible that uh, you just add for first time you have to keep all the spaces in your output string so that's why you have to check another condition if um character character dot is alphabetic sim then only i will uh, modify our hash map otherwise not why so because for other cases we will get obviously a space and we don't want to uh, keep only one space in our output string right that's why you have to keep this condition also okay i think it's clear so now i the end i will just return this rest i think it's clear right so don't worry i will explain this code again now run this code okay see this code will not give me the correct output because actually my this sort method is totally correct actually i made this mistake here you have to give this as a next line right so now let's again run this code um hello there so as you can see this code will give me correct output right the example call taxi right as you can see this code will give me correct output so now let's check the first example uh, okay hello there okay so here i use the hash map okay so after this for loop you loop you have added all the keys all the values in your hash map Means after this for loop you will get in your hash map hm equals to capital h equals to 1 e equals to 3 L equals to 2, O equals to 1, then space 1, then capital T equals to 1, comma, H equals to 1, comma, R equals to 1. Okay. This has why you will get the elements are always same, but the sequence can be different. Okay. After that, I just traverse the string again because I want to just check the number of the occurrence of each character are present in my string. Okay. So, what is my string is hello they are right so what is my first character is h so this if condition will execute because the number of the occurrence of h is equals to equals to one so we will just add this h with my rest string okay so after that you have e right so now this if condition will not execute okay we will come to this else block and then this if condition will again execute right so then we will just add this uh, e with my resultant string okay today uh must raise h e okay so obviously e is a alphabet right so then this if condition will execute and we will just modify the value to zero so now become now three become zero because here i've used the put method to, for that key so what is the key here the, our key is our e and now the value is become zero okay and we have l right so now again this if condition will not execute we will come to this else block and again this if condition will check and obviously this condition is satisfied so now we will again add l again okay so now this if condition will again execute because l is alphabet so we will just modify this to do zero okay so after that we have again l right so now this if condition will not execute and we will come to this else block but this if condition also not execute why so because for l you will get now zero right and obviously zero greater than one it's not true right it's not true so that's why this if condition will not execute okay so what is the next character is 
O, right? Obviously, the if condition will execute. We will just add this O with my Italian string. Okay. O. So next we have space, right? So if condition will execute, we will again add space with my Italian string. Okay. So after that we have capital T. Obviously, the number of the occurrence of capital T is also one. We will just add capital T with my Italian string. Okay. Next we have H. Same thing. So we will add 8 here. After that we have E. Right. So for E, this if condition will not execute. We will come to this else block. Uh, what is the value for E is 0. And obviously 0 greater than 1 is false. So that's why this condition will not execute. We will uh, go for next character. So what is my next character is R. Right. So then this if condition will execute. Then we will just add this R with my resultant string okay so what is the last character is e again this if condition will not execute we will come to this else block and this if condition will not execute because what is the value for e is 0 and 0 greater than 1 is false so at the end we will just come out for this for loop because we are we have already traversed all the characters that are present in my string so after that we just return the race okay so i think it's clear right all for this video i hope this video is helpful for you and if you have any doubts you can definitely ask me in the comment section and best of luck for your exam so thanks for watching see you in the next video